Today we're going to hide the underwear so that this uh, we can fit this metahuman with this warrior clothing. First thing we want to do is go to Natalia, who's our metahuman body, open the skeleton mesh, open the materials, and we're going to copy a few files. The body file, and we're going to export it. I've already done it, so you'll see the file there. The next one is the mask file. Again, export it. And we're going to do the normal file. Again, select it, export it. Now we have the three files we're going to modify to get rid of the underwear. Next thing we open up is Paint 3D. And it's just going to be a process of um, selecting, cutting, and pasting fleshy areas over the underwear. So we just hit select, select the fleshy area we want to copy, control C, control V, and then we just move it over the underwear. We'll start with the top and just pick different fleshy colors to match uh, the areas that we're going to cover. And then we're going to airbrush around the straight lines and kind of blend it in. So it's a little bit of an art. Okay, we've got the fleshy. Now we go select the eyedropper, right click, and that'll give us a flesh color. Then we'll take the airbrush. You can play with the opacity and the size and figure out what's best, but just airbrush out the straight lines and, and just continue this process. Cut, paste, get the eyedropper, right click, get to select your flesh color, airbrush, and just continue to do that until you get all the underwear taken out. Again, cut, paste, cover up all the areas that have underwear. And then just select different parts and, and different variations of the flesh. Just move around, find you an area, um, airbrush it try to get rid of all the state lines and what I try to do is select another lighter color kind of a combination of lighter colors and darker colors to blend it in I'm just going to do this one real quickly but the better you do the coloring the better it'll come out um, on the final uh, you'll see on the final uh, metahuman then we're going to bring in the next file which is the mask file we're going to get rid of all the magenta so select over in the blue area, cut, paste, cover up anything that's magenta or pinkish looking. Okay, this one's a little bit easier. There's really no blending. Okay, then the last one we're going to do is a normal file. And this will get rid of all the... Um, underwear marks. So again, find the areas where there's straight lines around the underwear. Cut, control V, uh, control C, control V, cut, paste, and then use your eyedropper to select a, um, a part of the color and then just airbrush and blend any kind of straight lines you see in there. Okay, same press this, uh, control C, control V, take the eyedropper, select a color, 
with the right click on the eyedropper, blend it in with the airbrush. Again, playing with the opacity and the size as needed. And again, the more time you take with this, uh, the better it will look. But really, it's you just got to get it close for this type of thing. If you're going to do a lot of close-ups um, near where the underwear used to be, you got to be a little more, um, got to be a little better at it. So anyway, next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a little modified file here, body modified. We're going to bring in the files that we just saved that we called uh, mod files. Those are the three files we just did with 3D Paint. Bring them in and just replace the old files with these modified files that you just did. And you can see now you have the underwear removed. And she can fit into this outfit.